Hello everybody. Today we're gonna try and catch Katla Katla out of the 25,000 gallons. Just like we have done, had done with uh, giant Siamese carp. None of those three have been fed adequately. They can't really compete with, with these boisterous and zealous feeders. So uh, usually I have to go inside with a couple of nets to catch anybody in there. But the giant Siamese and I mean, they were pretty slow and uh, not smart enough, so they were easy to catch from the outside with a long net. I'm gonna see if Katla is the same, and maybe we'll catch her without my having to go inside. Right? And there it is. It's hard to see it, it's a dark fish on black liner. Well, it turned out to be much smarter than a giant Siamese carp, so I have to go inside and get her my usual way. She was evading the long net, which is pretty slow, pretty hard to swing it in the water, so she was evading it, evading it no problem. I'm going in. It took less than a minute to catch it the usual way. I'm gonna transfer it into her, this t-shirt and put her in the 240 gallon with the giant Siamese car. They kind of, uh, they can be aggressive to fish that look to the king and maybe even to fish that look close to, close to them, like them. That's why I, I didn't do it right away. But then I thought it's, it's worth a try. If it if it bothers giant Siamese carp. Here I go. Here I go. If it bothers giant Siamese carp, we're gonna take it out. Hold it please.
a little introduction. It wasn't just a cut, but the giant Siamese carp are also skittish. They were freaking out. Okay, we'll let them settle down and grab a few frames later. It's been uh, one full day since we put the cutla, cutla in this tank. When we put, when I put them in there, the uh, two Siamese, giant Siamese carp freak out. They're skittish fish and they cope with any kind of stress by bolting and hitting everything. So that was the commotion, hitting of the lids and everything. Now their uh, jaws and are a little banged up and so are the, uh, the underneath the jaw of the lower jaw of the Katla Katla. But it's been a long time since I was able to film it. It's a food fish from uh, India and South Asia. It's also called South Asian carp. Right now I think it's a Labeo Katla. It used to be its own genus, Katla Katla. Um, it looks bigger and this tank is, looks pretty small for it. We'll get it feeding well, see if it's going to start putting on size and then we're going to put them in a different tank, bigger tank, all three of them, where they would be more comfortable. light up. It's a little too far. There you go. Uh, people who have seen them before were telling me that this is some kind of a variant because they said uh, Indians and some other people who saw them uh, that their belly is usually light colored, while ours is uh, uniformly black, a dark color, top to bottom. So that's uh, something unusual about them, I was told. I don't know how true that is, but that's what I was told on a couple of occasions. They also grow very big and very, very quickly, so ours obviously was underfed to still be about two feet and uh, eight years old, nine years old now. It should have been about 50 pounds already, if, if not more, if it was fed properly. But again, this I understand this now with the new information from my newly found peer, Dennis from Cambodia, thanks to him for teaching me about the giant Siamese and I apply the same knowledge to the Katla, Katla because the plight in my hands seem, seems to be pretty similar and the biology is very similar, they're filter feeders they only take food from the water column in the wild microscopic foods and they use their gills as a filtration tool Okay, the cutler hasn't eaten yet. It's been one full day in there. I mean, it showed some interest. I saw it, but I didn't see it actually start eating. The uh, the Siamese carp, they're still a little nervous, but they started to eat already. Started eating already. So I think the prognosis is positive for this temporary arrangement for this large fish in a smallish tank. I just need to start beefing them up, and if I see that going real well. I'm gonna think about where to put them next. Hopefully by that by that time I will have a couple of more tanks put together or glued. So we'll go from there.